Well, we're right here in Biggin Hill, the Air Force Base, made famous in World War II. Um, and goodness, that's where Shakarama flew in just a short while ago. We first heard he was being released in 2007 when he was cleared for release, but of course nothing happened in the following eight years. Uh, but most recently, the 30-day notice to Congress expired last Sunday, and he should have come home right after that, but it wasn't until early this morning that we found out that he'd actually left. The government didn't tell us. I'm very surprised that we didn't get formal notification. We almost invariably do, and I'm not quite sure what's behind that. We found out just because of the flight logs that showed the plane coming into Biggin Hill. Well, certainly there was this fantasy that somehow no one would find out about it. Of course they do, because there are people right there in Guantanamo who saw the plane take off. And so one journalist there saw it and contacted me when she saw it. I talked to him recently about his health, and his health is fairly catastrophic, and that's why we've made arrangements. The first thing that's happening today is he's going to a, a clinic to try to get a complete medical checkup. Shaka has been abused in horrible ways, and he's also never received any meaningful health care. So, you know, as he said it to me one time, he's like an old car that's just not been able to see a mechanic for years. And we did finally get an independent doctor in to see him some months back, who came up with a devastating report about how dreadful his health was. Um, but, of course, there's been no way to actually help him and get pro proper medical attention until today. Probably won't see his family today because he's got to be checked out properly medically. But, you know, maybe this evening or certainly tomorrow he'll see his wife for the first time in 14 years. I, I think that there's been no even notion that he's going to be detained. The British government has more sense than that. I mean, after all, he's never committed a crime. He's never been charged with a crime. On the other hand, there are many people who have committed crimes against him. Uh, as all part of the torture that uh, he's spoken to the Metropolitan Police about. And while Shaka doesn't want those people to be punished or to be persecuted, he very much does want there to be a full judicial inquiry into his torture and the torture of other people, if only to make sure that it never happens to someone else again in the future. Shaka is a person of immense ability and immense optimism and immense uh, energy. And if there's one thing to be absolutely sure of, it's that he is going to want to make sure that we, the world, learn from his own tragic experience so that uh, others don't suffer what he's suffered.